This is the healing prescription. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that he find them and health to all their flesh. The cross reference says the Hebrew word is medicine. This is the prescription. This is the, the spiritual prescription for healing. And my son, attend to my words. Now listen, consent and submit to my sayings. Let them, the sayings, the words, not depart from your sight. Keep them in the center of your heart, for they are life to those that find them, healing and health to all their flesh. But now, come on. The prescription does you no good unless you take it. Amen. 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 He said, put your eyes on my word and believe it and get it inside the spiritual system where it can work. Yes. And that's the prescription. You have to get it on the inside of you for it to work. Now, that, that was a great revelation to me. And then when this thing hit my back, Sunday morning, Dear Lord, after Southwest, whoa, and it was an exceptionally um, tough meeting spiritually, and it took a lot to win the battle. And uh, August the 4th, and I walked into my shower, and the my, my shower doesn't have an enclosure. It just has a glass around this way. And the shower head is here. And you just walk in here and you step down a step. And there's a, a tile bench there. And I, I just was like this. And I just pitched my washcloth over to that bench and I missed it. And it went in on the floor of the shower in the corner. Well, I'm just standing there letting the, the water just as hot as I can get it and stand it. <sighs> Had I done this, would have been one thing, but I didn't do that. I did, I, I did this. Oh, Oh, I'm telling you, a disc exploded in my back. It knocked me to the floor. On my face, I screamed Gloria. She came running in there. I couldn't get up. I couldn't get off the floor. And uh, I, I crawled out of the shower. And, and of course, Dr. Weeder, it, it, uh, well, they, he had just come with us back in the, right about that time, a little while before that. And he and his wife both chiropractors. And, and so uh, Gloria called them and they, man, they charged over there and they went to work on me. Anyway, make, make a long story short. I was guilty of this again. And so, and, and David called Dr. Colbert and the, and the two of them ganged up on me. <laughs> And so they stuffed me in the airplane and flew me down to Florida. Anyway, and I'm down there. And, and uh, so I said, Lord, what is going on here? He said, the only reason you're spending time in the Word is to get, you're building faith to preach not he receiving healing. Now, this, now listen to me. 
because you can do this in the car business. You can do this. You can do this as a medical practitioner. You anything as a preacher, a pastor. You can get so busy pastoring the church that the only thing you time spend any time in the Word in is get a sermon out of it instead of receiving healing in your body or financially and just let everything else just kind of happen. Amen. Well, that's what I was doing. And he corrected me for it. So we came back home. Well, I still have to preach. And I, I, I went out, I, of course it was summertime, and I went out in the backyard and started praising God. And I got two heating pads I'm in a lot of pain on this left leg. And I, I tied them both to my left leg and tied uh, old bathrobe sashes around them and turned them up just as high as I could get them so one pain phase out the other one. And just started praising God. And then I just tied the racks a little bit and boy, here come the pain. So I started praising God louder and louder and louder. And Jesus said, why take ye the thought saying? Well, pain is a thought. So I started saying, I don't take the pain saying. I don't take the pain saying. No, I will not honor that pain by saying it. I won't honor it. I won't do it. Glory to God, I'm healed in the name of Jesus. And I'm out there then and it settled down a little bit. I said, well, I've got to work on this. So I got my Bible and I, I've got my, my heating pads all hooked up and I'm going in the Word and the Lord said, what are you doing? I said, I'm getting my message. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I did it again. I was in such a habit of it. I said, okay, here go the healing scriptures. You see all those tabs? Those are healing scriptures all through the Bible so that I can just flip from one tab to the next Amen. and put them in my eyes and in my heart Amen. Amen. and not let them escape. Why? In order to see myself well. Amen. Amen. To see myself well. To see myself healed inside. I don't care what the pain is. See myself well. I see myself well. I see myself well. I call myself well. I call things that be not as though they were. That's hard on people. You better learn how to do it. I mean, there may not be anything wrong now, but uh, learn it. Establish it. Teach it to your children, your grandchildren. Amen. We don't talk this. We don't talk that in our house. No. I just soon cuss as to say I'm sick. I'm not going to do either one. No, I'm healed. I'm healed. 